Hi folks, I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we've got the 2014 Acura RLX sedan. This is the advanced trim level, which is their top trim level. And this car costs just under $61,000 before destination charges. So we're gonna take it out today and see how it compares against competition from Lexus, BMW, and Audi. Acura has made a strong pitch at getting back on track in the luxury sedan field this year with their all-new redesigned 2014 RLX. It loses the pasted-on bird beak look with an all-new style front to rear that comes off much more elegant and sophisticated than before. Up front are some handsome new July LED headlights that I really like. They have multiple lamps that really elevates the look. A new satin finished grille is softer in appearance and looks well in keeping with the RLX's mission as Acura's top model. The silhouette is well proportioned and carries a fresh look. It has a lot of BMW 7 Series from various angles, but not far kin from the new 2014 Honda Accord. Our advanced model has some elegant looking 19 inch alloy wheels, which gives the car an upscale appeal. The rear of the car continues to be fresh and offers a well planted stance for a front wheel drive car. Curiously, Acura has bucked modern trends of large dual exhaust ports and actually de-emphasized the exhaust pipes. In fact, you can't see them at all. Instead are large chrome trim elements which frame red reflectors. The interior is all new as well with generous amounts of stitched soft trims, supple leather and two separate flat screen monitors for infotainment. The cockpit is well laid out with top notch quality and switchgear and technology. Our RLX Advance had a full suite of techno gadgets including navigation, active driver assistance systems, heated and cooled seats, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel and rear sunshades just to name a few. Also part of the package is a top shelf Krell audio system which is right up there with Harman Kardon and Mark Levinson systems available in some of Acura's competitors. The sound is rich and the interface is easy to use once you learn it and it just bumps downright good. The interior on the Acura RLX is very well done. As you would expect with this brand, the fit and finish is top notch. The only area that I really found fault was the fact that this thing is lined with acres of fake wood. And it's not just fake wood, it's cheap and cheesy fake wood. And the problem with that is, if I'm in a $61,000 Lexus, Mercedes, or BMW, I've got real wood. And if you're trying to really seriously compete against cars like that, I think the fact that we've got fake wood in here is a pretty big oversight. Another area where I was really let down by this car was the navigation system with the AcuraLink database. Now AcuraLink is ultimately a pay service that gives you all sorts of services like, you know, search, traffic, and other types of information you can use on the go. Um, I was looking for a frozen yogurt shop in Scottsdale, which is a pretty, pretty well built up area, so it's not hard to find such places normally. So I did a search term in the system, frozen yogurt, and the very first four places on the list I tried to get to, I set them as destination, and the nav system did a great job of getting me to each one of them. Unfortunately, they were all closed or non-existent. In fact, in one case, it sent me to a residential neighborhood to someone's house. So I think the takeaway there is that the database that AcuraLink's using is very far out of date. Rear seat passengers will, however, be plenty happy as the space afforded for them is vast. There is huge legroom back here for the largest of passengers and headroom is generous as well. Best of all, there are heated seats and HVAC vents for them too. Under the hood is an all new Earth Dreams 3.5 liter direct injected V6 engine. Earth Dreams is Acura and Honda's marketing theme for their new line of fuel efficient and environmentally conscious engines. And if it's 310 horsepower saving the world, then sign me up. The engine lays down power with a furious growl that's much fun to listen to. The engine revs aggressively to its 6800 RPM redline, its 6-speed automatic transmission doing a snappy job at crisp shifts, especially set in sport mode. To go with this power, the RLX has a number of exclusive chassis features including double wishbone front suspension that ties those front drive wheels to the ground quite well. Precision all-wheel steer is out back to give the car a more agile feel. 
Now the precision all-wheel steer is not really four-wheel steering in the pure sense, mind you. The system makes constant toe adjustments at the rear wheels independently of one another with the goal of making the car feel more planted. These are turns of minute degrees, hardly noticeable by the naked eye, and honestly, I could not feel any rear steering going on at any point. This either means it works so well you don't notice it, or it really doesn't matter. Either way, I give the RLX's road manners high marks. It's a lot of fun to drive for a front-wheel drive car this large. Well, this car handles really well because of its high-tech suspension and four-wheel steering. It lets me down in one key area, and that's luxury feel. Um, when you go over bumps like manhole covers, expansion strips, even small potholes, they crash through the cabin. It's a very rough chassis when it comes to noise, vibration, and harshness. On smoother highways, the ride is, however, much more serene and quiet as you'd expect. It was only on rougher roads where the RLX lost its quiet, calm composure. One feature this car has that I like to test out is active lane keeping assist. Well, a lot of cars now, they've got the warnings that let you know if you're drifting out of the lane. This car has a system that will actually nudge you back into it. So we're going to give it a little bit of test and turn the system on here by pressing the button on the steering wheel. What happens is I get an indicator here on the instrument cluster that lights up solid if it's reading the lines. And it's got a camera that actually reads the lines and it detects if you're starting to veer off. So like right now what I'll do is I'll start to veer off into this center line here and it, it just ever so slightly nudges that steering wheel back into place. I can go over here on the right side and there it is. It just sort of nudges me back. Now, while this isn't a self-driving feature, it will actually steer the car on its own. Like right now, if I remove my hands, it's drifting. You can see the little corrections it's making, but it won't do it forever. If it doesn't detect you being an active driver, it's going to tell me here in a moment, okay, it's time for you to drive. But right now, see, there it goes. It's giving me a warning saying, okay, you need to put your hands on the wheel and steer. It doesn't want to be your driver, but basically the system is designed to interact and keep you in that line. In our time with the RLX, we achieved a commendable 27 miles per gallon average combined city and highway. Considering the RLX is rated by the EPA at 24 miles per gallon city, 31 miles per gallon highway, and 24 miles per gallon combined, this is a good showing for a full-size luxury sedan. Well folks, that's the 2014 Acura RLX. As you can see, there were a few areas where I wasn't 100% impressed with this car, but there were some areas where I was. If you're already an Acura fan or a customer, it's probably a car you're going to like as it's likely one of their best vehicles to date. If you're comparing it against Lexus or BMW, Audi, maybe Mercedes, I really think at $61,000 there are better choices out there and most with rear or all-wheel drive. So this week we give it 3 out of 5 stars. I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride. For a more in-depth review and photo gallery, see our report on gasmiler.com.